I couldn't believe it at first. I, I didn't really believe it at first. I was like, there's no way. It is a bizarre story. Three people are charged with tampering with evidence after investigators found a body wrapped in a tarp in a shed behind their house. Police say the body was in a mummified state, likely there for weeks. This happened in North Knoxville. Police got a search warrant for the house on Greenfield Lane yesterday. An arrest warrant says during the investigation, one of the suspects threatened her young son with a screwdriver. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan has the latest on the investigation. Records show that mom is now charged with aggravated assault. A warrant says she held a screwdriver to her son's neck and told officers she had, quote, nothing else to live for. Officers had to pull that boy to safety. Neighbors say they have been concerned about this house for weeks. I didn't ever, ever feel afraid, but I just felt uncomfortable because they're just, they made me uncomfortable. Dana Schwab lives next door and took this video as officers responded. Just knowing that, it, you know, death is that close and it was uncomfortable, uneasy for me. Police say they found the body in a mummified state, wrapped in a tarp in the backyard shed. It had been there for weeks. Definitely slept weird last night knowing that there had been a body over there for two, three weeks. Other neighbors say they couldn't believe it when they saw the forensic teams arrive. It looked like they were from in like Monster Zinc where they have like all the suits on, you know, coming from head to toe. Uh, I guess, you know, to, to get the body. When police got to the house, the three people inside claimed they didn't know anything about it. As investigators searched, a warrant says Deborah Gister pulled out a screwdriver and grabbed her seven-year-old son. I have nothing else to live for, the warrant says. She said, I will not be separated from my son. She's charged with aggravated assault. The boy is in DCS custody. Two others also face charges of tampering with evidence and abuse of a corpse in what court documents now call a murder investigation. Police say they destroyed material that was likely evidence. It makes me wonder how they were sleeping over there, that house waking up every morning knowing there's a body in the shed. Police say the cause of death is under investigation. They likely won't know until an autopsy is complete. Back to you.